What is up, everybody? It is I, Ronan, doing another episode of Playing Till I Lose. I know I've been doing this a lot lately, but, uh, yeah, my other friends don't want to switch to YGO Pro yet, so here we are. Anyways, today we are playing, as you can see, some Trick Stars. I'll go ahead and get out of the way. No side deck on this one because... Quite frankly, I'm not expecting to play this deck again, unless it's requested or something. Because I'm personally not a fan of this deck, uh, but I know a lot of people are. And I wanted to try it out myself, so here we are. It's a pretty standard build, you know, we have Candina at free, Light Stage at free, Terraforming at free, uh, Reincarnation at free. Beyond that, we pretty much just have... Negates, Droll and Lockbird, because it makes sense to have. Good card is good. There's nothing else we can say to that. <clears> oh, <throat> lord, sorry. <clears throat> Whew, okay. Uh, we have Soul Charge for a little bit more recursion. Raigeki to quickly clear out some big, scary, cool inky boards. Dark Room of Nightmare for a little more effect damage. <clears throat> Monster Reborn, because, as I said earlier, good card is good. Foolish Burial, because, again, good card is good. Uh, <clears throat> a little more Negate action, we got Solemn Judgment. Then we also have Solemn Strike, because chances are, when we need Solemn Strike will be when our life points are very low, and we might not be able to use it. So, yeah, Solemn Strike is at 2, so is less of a brick. <laughs> As far as the extra deck goes, we have just Trickstar Link Monsters. I'm honestly not expecting to use it much, so probably not going to go over it in super deep detail. The only one we'll probably ever end up going into is Holly Angel, though I am a fan of Foxy Witch. I think it's a very cool card, and I don't know, I just think it's pretty neat. So anyways, with that quick little profile done... I'll see you guys in the first duel. Alright, what is up? We are in the first duel against meta is no skill. Well, I guess we're going to find out that in a second, aren't we? You know, I actually think I've played this guy before. It's weird. But anyways, not a great hand on our end. I mean, definitely stuff we can do. Okay, so we got Warrior of Atlantis. Legendary Ocean things are happening. Um, maybe Atlanteans, probably some Mermail stuff happening on here. Because leg a Legendary Ocean drops the level of all the cards in your hand, so it's just pretty good. Ooh, Newman Eret Tetsudo. Neither player can special summon monsters with 1800 or less attack. Okay, then. Very good. I can... It's gonna be a slow turn on my end. But, I think there's stuff I can do. So first, we will... Foolish. Go ahead and get a... Candina in the grave. Now, we will summon our Lily Bell. Move into the battle phase. Attack directly. Whoops. Now we can activate Lily Bell's skill to get back our Candina. Now we will go into main phase two. Set this. And call it a move. We couldn't do much there because this guy is playing some anti meta. Stuff, it appears. I guess that makes sense, given his name. <clears throat> but you know what? We got, we're got we backed up by a strike, and as long as we don't get OTK'd here, we can make some pretty sick plays next turn, I think. Alright, so he said a thing. Is he just going to attack Lily Bell? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Still pretty even so far. I'm fine with this. 
Okay, so we got our droll in lock. Not bad. Okay, so first we're going to summon Candina. Use Candina's skill to search things, unless he has a response to just shut me down. Which would be unfortunate. Is okay, yeah, so no, we're not actually. So we're going to get our light stage. Activate the light stage for that second Rhoda effect. Yes, we will be searching a trick star monster. And you know what? I'm thinking it's going to be Lily Bell. And we can't special summon, unfortunately. Let's see. Uh, and we might just have to leave it at that for now, unfortunately. Like, we got our Lily Bell back, though, so... Yeah. A little bit of spot removal would be nice for this Newman Eret Tetsudo. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot we should have started clearing out his back row last turn. That's my bad. And you know what? We will start clearing out his back row this turn. Okay, so first up, let's go ahead and activate this. Shut down the first thing he set. He might chain it. He could if he wanted to. And I think Lily Bell is a good look here. Because that's just a little bit more damage on board. Alright, so yeah, Lily Bell's our play here, I think. Yes, I would like to attack directly. So we can get some. Okay, so he's got a mirror force. Neat. Thankfully, that's going away. So we'll see what that is. Probably something else stunny and floodgatey. This guy seems to be the type that would play that kind of stuff. A sea stealth attack. Okay, so he's playing a legendary fisherman thing. Neat. If he summons a legendary fisherman, that we are possibly in luck. Alright, are you just going to attack? I feel like you might be just attacking. I mean, thankfully we're running Trickstar Honest in here, so if we can top deck that, that is the bomb. But no, we didn't. But we can at least start getting some innate damage going on. So not all bad. Not all bad. Actually, yes, we will be. Stop that. We don't want you deck finning anymore, friend. Yes, we have several outs to this. We just need to draw into them. Which is unfortunate, because it seems like that is the opposite of what we are doing right now. But you know what, let's try to look a little bit spooky. Why not? Go ahead, take your burn damage, man. I will paper cut you to death even more. Yes, just, just stop that. I don't want you doing that. And that's all your Warrior of Atlantis, so I'm fine.
Okay, so... Another Lily Bell, yes! Top deck of the century right here. Yes, I do want to attack directly. Take your damage. And we want our Candina. Because next turn, Candina is big. So knowing this guy is just going to attack into Lily Bell, so next turn we can summon Candina. Get out our Trickstar Honest. And then finally get over... Okay, nice. We actually probably want that. Alright, now we normal summon. Use the ability to search out Trickstar Honest. Now we could crash, but I would rather not. Yes, I do. So there we go. This game has been turned around a little bit. Unless he just randomly has another Tetsudo Air at Newman, which would suck. Or it, Newman Air at Tetsudo. My bad. Okay, so he's probably going to set multiple here. Okay, so he's taking a little damage. Apparently we can do it twice. Cool. Let's see, empowerment. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I don't want you doing things. Stop doing things. So... He gets special summon and power warrior, which would have been bad. I mean, clearly no skill over here, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, meta is no skill. You're. I can't tell if you're serious or not, but I'm going to go if you are being sarcastic because if you're being sarcastic, you're you're kind of all right. But I actually think this e original. Yep. All right. That's me. Meta. Meta fanboy pushing the waifu agenda. Because that's what this is. I'm pushing the waifu agenda right now, unfortunately. <sighs> yep. So, yeah. Personally, I don't believe that meta is no skill. That's not my belief. There's some de meta decks they don't like, but they're just another deck, you know? Like, yep, I win. Okay, so that was game one uh, against meta is no skill. Surprisingly, a little tougher than I would have expected, but, you know, we got to win. So, see you guys in game two. All right, welcome to game two with 5 VN. Let's go with paper this time. Oh, we lost. Okay, so yeah, here we are. And he let us go first. What's up? Okay. So we're going to be doing some basic plays here. 
because we don't have anything else to do right now. We search a trickstar monster. Uh, I mean, sure, we can make it like Chris for now. Now we will summon our Lycoris. Activate the dark room. Next we will go ahead and foolish for Candina. Oh, Candina is right here. And with that, I think we can pass. I mean, we get a little burn going on. So that's always good. No, we will not hand trap ourselves. Alright, there we go. A thousand damage off a of draw. Not terrible. Definitely not ideal. Oh, we're getting kaiju Sea turtle. Yo! Pure kaijus again? What's up? Nope, that's grinder golem shenanigans. Okay. Grinder golem has appeared, apparently. Hi, Link Karibo. Double Link Karibo. Okay, then. You can beat over one thing. Know that much. Nope. He's going for the Akashic to bounce the golem. But I want to keep my golem. You know, I have it now. I want my grinder golem now. You gave it to me. It was a gift. Thank you for the grinder gold. Okay, so two lily bells. Not bad, actually. So I could do linking shenanigans here. The link monster I could make is... This. Let's see. This card's link summon. Make your opponent... Draw one card, face a trickstar monster you can point to is destroyed by battle or card effect. Inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each card in their hand, so not worth. Yes, I do want to attack directly. But first this, so we can get our Lycoris. Now we will go into main phase two, switch this to dispense, activate this by bouncing Lilybell back to our hand, use Lilybell again, oh I could have done that, well I'm dumb, and we'll just call it a turn right there I think, because I was a dummy and didn't make the most of it. But a little more damage. Always a good thing. That's familiar possessed area. My guess is his intent was I still had stuff on my field. But as I did not. I mean, we can Lily Bell loop next turn again, so it's fine. And we still have our Grinder Golem for whatever reason. Okay, so first we're gonna switch this to attack. Summon our Lily Bell. Battle phase. I do wish to attack directly.
All right, Lily Bell's skill. We get Lycris back. Now we are going to activate this. Special summon in attack mode. Use Lily Bell. Summon her. Now we will be having this attack the star because we have our carabine. Okay, apparently we didn't get enough attack points somehow. Was not aware that could be a thing. Maybe I misread carabine. But you know what? We got a little bit more damage in board. Let's see, this summon is not a once per turn, so that's kind of cool. Now real fast, we're going to go ahead and set up some defense. Main phase 2, end phase. This should be game on his next draw. Alright, and that's game two. So, I guess that means we're going into game three in a second here. Uh, learned a little more about the deck, so that's always a good thing. Definitely not ideal plays, but not bad. So, see you guys in game three. Alright, we are here in game three with Noya. Alright, this time we actually get to go first. Ooh, this hand. Ooh, this hand. Okay, so we can light stage. Yes, I will search a trickstar monster. Let's go ahead and search ourselves some Candina. So now we can normal summon Candina. Yes, we will activate Candina's effect. No, we'll not be doing that. Uh, tough calls. Let's go with another light stage, actually. Try to mix it up a little bit. So we reactivate for the Rota effect again. None once per turn. What's up? And with that... We will activate this effect. Bounce Candina. Pull a defense mode. Make them think we have reincarnation all set and ready to go. But not a great turn. But ideally, this got this person will attack over Lycoris. Next turn we can Monster Reborn. Summon Candina. Search our reincarnation and be good to go. But there's a 14 card extra deck, so this might not be the most meta deck to play against. Ah, it's blue eyes. Blue eyes. Well, yeah, because I don't want to deal with that. That's no good. That's annoying. I don't want you making plays. So yeah, we actually didn't need to do that. But uh, let's go right back to attack mode. Normal summon Candina. No. Now. Now we'll get reincarnation. I wonder. Okay, yeah, we can't. I would have loved it if I did, but... Oh, well. To the battle phase. Attack one. Attack two. Alright, main phase two. 
we will be setting our reincarnation and passing turn. So, great turn for us. Yes, I would actually like to chain. No, I will not be hand trapping myself. So take a little bit more damage, friend. So you know, we're in a pretty good spot right now. Pretty sure we can't get OTK'd from here. Okay, Melody of the Awakening Dragon. We're going to be smart. Because I don't want you to get out an alternative. Okay, yeah, Goliath happens. You can only Ash once per turn, unfortunately, but you know what? He's taking a little more damage, so that's what's important. Let's see. Neither player can special summon monsters from the extra deck except the Morphage monsters. Okay. Why should I be worried about that? Alright, so, setting a card. Alright, perfect. We actually got what things we needed. So first we will use Reincarnation's effect to revive our Candina. You know, man, joke's on you. We don't summon from the extra deck. Get another Candina on board. Use it to search more things. Torrential happens. But we still get our search. That's what's important. So we'll go ahead and grab a reincarnation. Reborn that. Into defense mode just to be safe. Activate. Set. And pass turn. I believe this is game. So we'll not reincarnation ourselves. So yeah, that's game. Alright, so far this is going by pretty easily. So, uh, guess I'll see you guys in game four. Alright, here we are in game four with Bob. Will Bob be the one to take us down, finally? Alright, so solid opening hand for us. Hello, mate. Alright. How are you? I want to know how he is. I really do. Setting lots. Okay. That's spooksy. On the bright side, though, we have a great opening hand. Fantastic opening hand, actually. Now we will set two and attack directly because we have an ash. A little less scared. Alright, so negate attack is incoming. Got I'm glad we got that out of the way at least. No. We can't really droll and lock right now because if we did yeah, you basically need two traps. That's the whole idea. Mask of the Accursed. Okay, monster can attack. Take 500 points of... Equip monster... Alright, so I'm taking 500 points of damage in the standby phase. Is DNA surgery incoming? Alright, well, I can't attack anyways. Might as well go to defense mode. <laughs> oh, sorry. Had a sneeze there. Ah, that was unpleasant. Okay, but yeah, so... 
we're okay right now, I think. If he beats over our Licorice, we have Reincarnation of the Grave, so we can just pop it back. If he builds a board, we have Raigeki. Any searches, we have Joyous Spring and or Ash Blossom. Any summons, we have Solemn. So, we're pretty set here, actually. I feel very confident about our position. Alright, setting another thing. Alright, let's take a look at your hand, dude. Flame Champion. So, he's probably playing some weird fusion-y thing. Uh, let's see. We can activate this. Let, if you control no monsters or all your monsters you control a chick star, you can special summon this card from your hand. So, yes, we are going to do that. Maybe get rid of some back row. Lost turn. Activate. Control no special summon monsters. All monsters face upon the field negates effects during that turn. Monsters with special summoned. Okay, cool. So, it's a effect monster, so it's going to be in defense position anyways. Oh, we got another monster on board, though, and we can actually do a few things. Well, no, because we have all effect monsters. That's not going to do us any good right now. Okay, but is this just... I wonder what deck he's playing. I feel like this might be... Just back row shutdown. If it is, then I'm not really worried at this point, because he would have activated these two by now, right? So there is the end phase. So now we can switch to the attack. And let's just battle. A little more damage never hurt. Well, it did hurt him. A little more damage did hurt him. Okay, so another negate attack. Good thing to get out of the way. You know, just slowly whittling him away. So we're taking another 500 burn. His issue is we are burning him out faster, I think. Alright, Mask of Dispel. Face up, continuous spell on the field. Control that takes 500 during each of your standby phases. Okay, so he's playing Mask Burn. I have never seen Mask Burn. Oh, shoot, we can actually do that. Uh, yes. Go ahead and get that mask out of the way. No. So we want this on board. Now, here comes the fun part. We can actually normal summon this. Get a little bit of burn damage away. Then reincarnation to get this one back. Now there's a chance that's another negate attack. Nope. Okay. And let's just pass it there. Taking a bit more damage. Alright, so not bad. We got rid of masks, we have our monsters back, and that mask of dispel is still hurting, but not fast enough. Okay, another face down. Might be a little scary, but if we can get terraforming or light stage, we can go ahead and lock that down. Okay, there's a lily bell. Certainly not ideal. So I take the mask damage. So I guess we can take a chance at summoning our Lily Bell. 
Skull Dice. Okay, so he's weakening our monsters. But we have something else on board that we can normal summon. Unaffected by Skull Dice too, so that's kind of nice. So we go ahead, attack, attack. I think this is game. Alright, so that was game four. Going on an extreme win streak right now. Uh, let's just get right into game five. This is going well. Alright, game five with Loveless. Wonder why he is without love. N All right, you two, Matt. You two, mate. All right, so it looks like we're playing against some photons. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want you doing photon things. All right, so we gotta search, but that's something off the board. And we can go ahead and draw. So he gets no more surges this turn. Okay, so he's gonna Galaxy Soldier. Huh. My friend just messaged me on Discord. Turns out that IHOB. Turns out IHOB is a thing now. And I wasn't paying attention, and he built a board. I was too distracted by IHOB. Okay, so he's probably just going to do rank 8 pass here. Not a bad board to have, certainly. Yeah, rank 8 pass is happening. What rank 8, though? Okay, so... Let's see, it has two effects. I've played against this. I can never remember all its abilities, though. When your opponent activates a monster effect, you can attach one negate the effect. During your opponent's turn. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So he can only activate one of these effects once per turn. So we're hoping he does the second one. Okay, nice. So that means we are safe to activate our abilities. So not bad. Go ahead and grab a light stage. Activate light stage. To search a licorice. Yeah, I'm going to search a licorice. Summon the Candina. Yes. To search. Wait. Can he not activate that ability as a hard once per turn? Let's see. If you if this is a photon, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. You can only use each effect, the following effects of once per turn. Okay, so we can activate each effect once per turn. Let's see. You can attach one from this card and get the activation. That. Okay, so. Actually, no. I have an idea. Oh, wait, I forgot. Dang it! I goofed so hard just now. I should have traded out. Ugh, that was a hard goof. What I had to do was tag out. I had to tag out there, and I didn't. As long as we don't get OTK'd here, though. And I don't think we will. <sighs> Such a dummy. Uh, okay, but now we learned a little bit about Galaxy Eyes. Photon Lord. That is a scary card. That's what we learned today. So we'll set that. Normal summon this because we are powered up. Now let's just go into the battle phase and attack directly.
Okay, so he's attaching a Xyz unit. He's doing that thing. We still get damage though. 1500 at this point. Now we're hoping to force that activation. Okay, so now we're just going to activate this. Because we will be getting our Lily Bill back no matter what, I think. Or we're just going to put that in the grave. Okay, cool. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to lose this one. Huh. That's a really good card, though. And yes, we don't want you extending your plays. Well, actually... Yeah, either way, we lose the battle this turn. We're not making it easy for him. You will not just have this win. Or he's ranking up into... Okay, yeah, style points are inbound, boys. Style points are inbound. <sighs> GG. GG, Loveless. Yeah, Alright, so... Four game win streak, win streak, not bad. I feel like we got to show off what the deck can do pretty well. Definitely not to the max of its abilities. But you know, I don't think this was a bad episode. Got some, uh, got some good wins. You know, first time picking up this deck, so not bad. Uh, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how terrible my build is, or you know how bad I am at playing Trick Stars. Uh, just, yeah, you know, let me know how I can improve as a player, because I really want to. That's why I'm trying to play some more meta-ish decks, because I believe the first step to being a good player is knowing the meta, and by that I mean knowing what most people are playing. So, yeah, this has been Ronin, signing out.